The Falmouth Commodores took on the Yarmouth Dennis Red Sox last night for the second time this season with the hope of putting their record over the 500 hump. Trey Masick of Texas Tech was on the hill for Falmouth and pitched a gem but started off struggling. The first batter for YD, Carlos Asuaje, belted a double over the head of Jared King on the third pitch of the game, the only hit Masick would surrender all afternoon. Tyler Siasha then laid down a bunt, and with a wild throw by third baseman Brad Feger, Aswahe scored from second, and Siasha ended up on third, later scoring the second run on a 4-3 putout. But Masick settled down after the tough start and struck out eight of the next ten batters. He never gave up a hit after the first batter he faced, allowed zero walks, and struck out nine over six innings giving the Commodore lineup plenty of time to catch up. Jacksonville State's Cody Blanchard led off the third with a single and advanced to second when the ball skipped by the right fielder. Jared King then singled him over to third before Michigan's Michael O'Neill brought him home on a fielder's choice. O'Neill stole second and advanced to third on a wild throw by the catcher before Dosh hit a broken bat single to bring him across the plate for the tying run. In the next inning, Falmouth's Jonathan McGibbon led off with a walk and stole second before Alex Maldonado singled him over to third. Blanchard then singled to second, knocking McGibbon in for the go-ahead run, and in the next at bat, a wild pickoff attempt allowed Maldonado to score. In the fifth, after a one-out single by Dosh, McGibbon out of Clemson smashed a two-run homer over the left field fence for the first Commodore home run of the season as Falmouth took a 6-2 lead. Falmouth relievers would allow two more runs, but with the tying run at the plate, Kale Elam came through with a clutch save, securing Masick the victory as the Commodores won 6-4 and moved to 3-2 on the season. I thought we did a lot of good things well. The thing that I'm liking is that, you know, one, we're competing, and two, I like our approach. You know, I think there are some guys that still need some work to do in that area, but I think we're making progress. Uh, you know, and I'm talking about our approach on the mound and our approach certainly at the plate. You know, some guys did some good things with, with certainly, uh, you know, battling with a couple of strikes and, and putting the ball in play uh, and also hitting the ball the other way and hitting the ball in the middle of the field. So those are things that are going to make the difference, you know, for them as hitters and for them, uh, you know, at the plate as the season wears on. And obviously Trey Masick was, I thought, you know, outstanding. And then Kyle Ruckham comes in and does a great job and, and gets us out of a little bit of trouble. And, and at the end, Kale, you know, I was really pleased how he moved ahead and got to the next pitch after the guy hit the double, you know, because he was outstanding from that point on. So a lot of good things tonight. As long as we don't get caught, we'll keep doing it, you know. But in, in all seriousness, I mean, I think that I'm pleased also in that regard in that, you know, they're not just running randomly. I mean, we're, we're trying to pick our spots and, and make it a meaningful stolen base, you know. And, uh, and we got some guys that can run pretty well and, and have good instincts. So uh, hopefully that will continue. You know, it's always exciting to, to hit a home run. Uh, you know, he'd been working me away, so I figured, you know, he might try to keep going away. So, you know, it was 3-1 count, I think, and pitch was middle of the way, and I was able to drive the other way. Well, you don't have much give with the wood bat. I mean, you really got to stay true to be able to drive the ball. And, you know, that's the thing with the metal bats is that, you know, you can get it, hit it off the end a little bit and still drive it in the gap. So, I mean, it's tough to adjust to, but with time, you know, it'll get better.